Here's another one of the early trout lures. Uh, a dog nobbler, and in this case uh, an orange one. Now, it's possible the original used uh, ostrich hurl instead of marabou as the tail. Uh, I just prefer using marabou. And also, uh, there may have been some sort of bending of the of the shank of the hook downwards. Personally, I've never been much of a fan of bending hooks because I think that it destroys the temper on them and therefore leaves weak spots. And the fly also had a lead portion at the front to make it sink. I'm just going to wrap some lead wire under the front part of our fly. I'll put a little bit of super glue onto that. And then take my thread through it just to keep it in place. And then we'll move to the rear of the fly. So as I said, for this fly I'm going to use a the tip of a of an orange marabou feather. So I'm going to tie that in, leaving a tail of at least the body length, maybe a bit longer. And then I'm going to cut that off at roughly the length where it would join onto our lead portion. And then I'll bind that all down in. So, uh, it also tended to have a rib. So, on the orange version here, I'm going to use a gold rib. So, I'm tying in a bit of gold oval. And then the body was an orange chenille. So, here I'm going to again tie in up to the point where I intend to end the body so that I don't end up with a step. Cut it off and then I'm just going to pull the fluff off the core, leaving only the core threads and that'll mean that I don't end up with a step here at the point where I tie it in. Now when you rib chenille, you tend to rib in the opposite direction which you wind the chenille on because otherwise the rib will just fall in between the sort of coarse wraps of the chenille and disappear. Tie that up. And the front of the fly is finished off with a bit of uh, peacock hair, usually two or three or so. Now my own preference, a lot of people would tie them in by the base and wind them, but personally I prefer to tie them in across their middle. Slide it down and then spin it to make like a dubbing rope around my thread and I think that makes it a bit more secure because there's also a thread core in the wraps. So then to tie it off I just allow them to unwrap from my thread a little bit. Trim that off. And create a finish. just to secure the thread wraps. And a bit of 
the haggle just to clear out the eye. There we have an old style dog nubbler.